I know that only of if a love could know me so much. I know that my husband love could know me so much. But love is not enough. Everybody knows that. Even the other Oloris, all of them, they know that love is not enough. And that is why I'm trying to protect my man. I love Oni Ofife so much. Oni Ofife is my man. And I owe him protection. It's better I fight to protect him than to stay away and stay outside the palace claiming that I love my husband while I'm not showing him respect. Although Oni Ofife loves Kinomi so, so much. There's no doubt about that, but we all know that love is not enough. Allegedly, they say that Olori blood, uh, uh, blue blooded <laughs> his name self. Olori uh, Ronke said said to the elders that she loves her husband, and all that she is doing is to protect her husband and she is not going to apologize for doing so <laughs> now people know be smart you know that whatever she is doing she is doing it for the interest of her husband that she loves her husband so much that only of her is is her love only of her is her everything that she have known only of her so for 20 years now and the other other allories, they don't know when it started and I don't think they are going to know how it will end. But all they are saying, uh, all they are saying is that she has been uh, fighting on your fife. She doesn't love on your fife. Uh, she did this. She took this off uh, from on your fife. She took that. But all of these things are not true. That all she is doing is just to protect her husband and nothing more. Allegedly, they said that Olori Ronke said. Hello, my lovely people. You welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time. And according to the time you are seeing this video, please, 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 if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you are a turn subscriber, thank you and God bless you. I really appreciate you so much for being part of my channel. I really appreciate you. Please don't be, uh, don't be tired of uh, accepting my thank you and thank you and thank you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will see you through. The Lord will support you in everything you do. That is my prayer for you. I love you. Thank you so much. Greetings to you wherever you are. Whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are anywhere in England, in UK, anywhere. I respect you so much. Thank you. And God bless you. Allegedly, they say that Olori Ronke, she don't come home. That she's protesting her love for Oni of Ife, the way she love Oni of Ife, that Oni of Ife is the love, her, love of her life. Nobody knows when this love started. Imagine, you know, is it not the same Ronke that we heard that uh, the elders begged Oni of Ife to marry? That elders uh, uh, pleaded with Oni of Ife that at least to compensate them, let him marry Ronke. Is it not that same Ronke again? It's the same Ronke that is saying that she have known Oni Ofe for 20... It's possible that she will know Oni Ofe for 20 years. But what do they have in common? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Is that not all? Because if if she have known Oni Ofe for, for 20 years, uh, and if it be says she don't... Yes, she don't marry another man who give birth to that her child. That her child we had last year that was 27 years Almost a met a Quinomis met. That is why she's still in the palace to uh, uh, giving Quinomi basbos. She have known her for twenty years, and then for twenty years, maybe they have started showing themselves love. And the other result, they doesn't know anything about it. And now everybody is saying that she's fighting a new affair and she's not fighting a new affair. That whatever she did is to, for the interest of Oni Ife, just to protect her man. That she's not going to stay back. Or stay there and watch her man eh, 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 suffer uh, because of one 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 woman or the, or the other. Uh, that she love on your friend, whatever that she will be doing right now, or what is whatever she is doing, she is doing it for on your friend's good. And it, she's not fighting on your friend the way people are saying it. That if you go out there, you will hear people saying that she's fighting on your friend. She's not fighting on your friend. That she's not fighting on your friend even one bit. 
that whatever she's doing, and they have been saying that she should apologize to Nefe, that she's not going to apologize to anybody because she has seen that what she's doing is not wrong. For you to protect, fight to protect your man, is it wrong? According to what they said, though, they said even in the presence of the elders. And the people have been saying that you are trying to protect your man. You have your the interest of your man at heart. But the, your man loves Queen Naomi and he doesn't want Queen Naomi to come back to him. Okay, you have the interest of your man at heart, but he doesn't want him to be happy. All you want, all you are saying right now is all about you. You love Onyefefe. Onyefefe knows that you love her. But Onyefefe did not even notice that you love her. Because you cannot tell me that you love Onyefefe and you, you try to fight, take what he's using to protect himself. And you're saying that you, are, you love him. You, you love Onyefefe, but you never wanted uh, Tadeni Kawo to come back to the palace. Knowing fully well that Tadeni Kawo is all that uh, Onyefefe have gotten as a, as a king. Without a prince... Without Tadeni Kawo in Onyefefe's life as a son, you know that Onyefefe is not going to last in that throne. Without Kunomi's uh, knowing or seeing or hearing uh, allegedly that Onyefefe and Kunomi are 14th century lovers reincarnated, you know that you have seen this. Without Kunomi, that Onyefefe is not going to last. You still don't want Kunomi to come back to the, to the palace. Tomorrow you say that you love Onyefefe. She was even saying that if, uh, if, if there is anything like reincarnation, that she's going to marry Onyefe in her next world. But that one, I, I'm just seeing it as an exaggeration. She's not serious because maybe she's just saying this thing in the front of, in front of people so that they will say that, hey, this woman love, love Onyefe. Oh. My people, forget that thing. Oh. Forget that thing. Me, I know say what thing she they talk, no be true. Yes. She's not making, she's not saying the truth. If you Go inside her heart now. She will tell you, say, this man self, you're not, you're not, you're not what I thought you are going to be. For you to, for you to leave me and start following Queen Nomi, I dislike you. I did this. I forget. Not be watching with the talk for more than they, they look at. Now the heart, the heart of a man is the main thing. If you look at um, Ron K's heart now, you go, no, you go see, say, no be this thing what she the talk. Okay, look at her. She's saying that Nomi, she knows very well that Nomi lost Queen Nomi. The man that you know that. Love on Kunomi. He doesn't even want that man, that person that you know quite alright that he loves to come back to him. Is that not wickedness? Anyway, my people, now I take care of this thing because all this way they wrong, okay? They talk. I know say it's not coming from her heart, but whether she she claim that she know she love on your face or not, on your face have loved Kunomi. You say you don't love Kunomi, and Kunomi have given on your face a son. You say you don't give on your face a son. Nobody is going to change it. Nobody is going to stop it. Nobody, even not even Ron K. Even if she reincarnated the next world and stay married, in short, she's not even going to marry on because they're not meant to be together. Yes, they're not meant to be together, my people. Now, me talk more. Yes. And please don't forget that all the information you are getting from this channel, they are all alleged information. Don't forget to, please, I beg you, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.